Oh, I don't, I don't think I did. My first time in the CSL was Daytona, 1975, and I was driving with Ronnie Peterson, and that's why you see Peterson's name on one of the cars. But it, uh, it broke down fairly early on, and I didn't actually drive it at all. But, you know, in 76, uh, just before Le Mans, we get a call from Jochen Neerpasch. He says, for Le Mans, we have a special CSL. It is an art car, and it is turbocharged. Oh, so we arrive at Le Mans, and there's the Frank Stella autograph. You know, looks like graph paper. And off we go. Well, we blow four engines up in practice. And they put the least damage one back in the car. And Nia Bash came to me, he said, he gave me the best instructions I ever had for a 24-hour race. He said, Brian, he said, start the race and drive as fast as possible. It will not last. <laughs> And it lasted for two glorious hours. And uh, about uh, 30 years after that, I saw the chief engineer for BMW Motorsport, Sir Martin Browngart. And he said, Brian, you remember the turbo CSL? I said, yes, yes. He said, you know how much was the power? I said, yes, 750 horsepower. And he laughed, he said, oh, this is what we tell the drivers. Actually, 950. <laughs> but the wonder it blew up.